Some sing just like our father. Come on, I leave. I share my ice creams. Yeah, what do you think it is? <laughs> nice hair on my jeans. That's dirty. It is dirty. It's not right. Well, fine. You enlighten us. I swear on my beans. Oh, it's a Celtic thing. You know, enough. I will settle this. Roadside assistance. Is this an emergency? Uh, yeah. Sort of. Where are you? At the beginning of the chorus, it's this line from Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. I swear well he means. Oh, see? Yeah. Thank right. you. Dude. Thank you. We live in a great age. Every morning, every afternoon, I will ride with you. I will ride. Hey, listen, you know what? Wash that oatmeal off or put it in the bowl and give it to your brother. Okay, you know what? Very funny, but someone's gonna need that shoe. And hey, underpants go on first. That's why they call them under. Here's your lunch, honey. I love you. Remember, every bite you take, I am in that bite. And that is why I love chewing. <laughs> What about your coffee? Is she in that too? That's three sweet sips, so back off. Let's wave at the same time. Big drama at the house I'm flipping. Turns out tree roots cracked open the pool and a family of rats moved in. Have fun with that. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey, Laird. Hey. Hey. I have that t-shirt. Me too. I know. You're wearing it. Oh, this isn't mine. But I have several more just like it. Listen, I gotta tell you. Dude, sometimes he's a little different. Well, he's awkward. He's awkward around you. You're, you're his hero. Why would Laird be his hero? Because he's a rugged lone wolf who ladies love and refuses to bow to the man. Thank you. He's a divorced suburban dentist. Hey, well, Mr. Buzzkill. Actually, Aubrey's right, except for the ladies' part. I've been in a bit of a slump lately. I haven't heard the life-affirming sound of panties hitting the floor in over two weeks. Two weeks? I haven't seen my wife naked in two years. Well, what about sex? When you've been married as long as I have, <laughs> seeing your wife naked is having sex. <laughs> you gonna make it? Marmaduke came home with a chemistry set. It's gonna be a little nervous. Who is that? Girl I know from the gym. I've been trying to get a date with her. Quick, give me your ring. My, my wedding ring? No, your nipple ring. Yes, your wedding ring. I overheard her talking to a friend of the smoothie bar about how she's yeah. into married guys. Come on, give me your ring. Give me, give me. Why married guys? I don't know. It's dangerous. It's naughty. Don't judge. Just hurry, hurry. Uh, promise you're gonna give it right back, right? Yes, of course you I will. will. Watch this. Hey, uh, Holly, from my spin class, right? Right, right, hey, uh... Dr. Laird. Hey, gosh, I didn't know you were married. Oh, you didn't? Oh, that's weird, because I totally am. <laughs> Unlike my sad single friend over there. Nice. Any kids? Yes, four. <laughs> hey, tell her their names. Yeah, let's see, there's, um... Emma, Dasher, Luciano, and Colgate. <sighs> so sweet. Colgate? <laughs> like the toothpaste, right? Are you still here? Yes, I am, because I need my, uh... Yes, of course, your, uh, pep talk. You are special, and today you're gonna meet somebody. Today's the day, now go! Look, I just want, I really need... Can I walk you somewhere? Sure. Mm. 
Okay, happens all the time. It's my fault, you know. I get hit by cars a lot. <laughs> See? <laughs> happens all the time. I'm fine. I'm just gonna get my feet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> told me he'd rather have sex with a catcher's mitt. No, what I said was I'd rather have sex with a mailbox. And on top of being a very hurtful comment, I think that's a federal crime. It's a married thing, yo. You wouldn't understand. No, yo, I, I'm, I'm married. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not wearing my ring today. Oh, I get it. You see women like me in crumbling marriages all day long, and if you don't wear your ring, it makes it easier to nail us. No, Sue, I don't want to nail you. That makes two of us. Laird, I'm in the middle of a session. I won't disturb you then. I just wanted to grab something. Yes. Perfect. Excuse me. Hey, Klepto. <laughs> what possible use could you have for a photograph of my son? It's Holly. She's asking lots of questions about my family, so I needed some props. Yeah, you know, this is a little crazy. I need my ring back. You want to know what's crazy? A woman who will only date married men. That's crazy. I mean, why can't a nice guy like me just meet a woman without all the head games, you know? Yes, you are so right. Aren't I? Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. Well, why don't you just use your old ring? My ex got it in a divorce settlement. Wow, that's a, a really bad settlement. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, so Aubrey, how was your day today at work? Uh, yeah, good. I mean, you know, busy. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I stopped by the office today, but you weren't there. Oh, oh, whoa! Thank you. What's going on? No, I, I, I just remembered. I, I gave blood. Oh, well, where's your I gave blood sticker? <laughs> I'm up for, uh, afraid of stickers. But you're not afraid of needles. I'm a complicated dude. Yeah, I'm beginning to see that. Alrighty, guys, wish me luck. Laird, seriously. Oh, come on, don't worry. I'm seeing Holly tonight. I'll bring your ring back right after. What about Leela? You guys have been married forever. She's never gonna notice. and you put it in a vending machine? Yes. Crazy enough to be true, right? I'm gonna call the soda company, though. I'm on it, I'm on it. Why did you even take it off? I, I sometimes I like to let my finger breathe. Really? Yeah. Suddenly I feel like it needs air, and I, but it, it's, it's no biggie. It's, I, I, do, I do it all the time. No biggie? No. Oh, well, then maybe my finger could use some fresh air, too. Oh. Look at how pretty my little naked hand is. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't take your ring off. Why not? Uh, women love to wear their rings, right? Really? Says who? People, uh, society, the, uh, the blood diamond in industry. Hi, hello. You seem somehow different to me. Why aren't you wearing your rings? Oh, uh, no, no reason. This is a very big mistake for one of you. Father, do I have to spill it out for you? No, I got it. Thanks. Here! Here? That's how you ask a man to marry you? I got this out of a pawn shop, okay? It's yours. Happy hunting, give me mine. I can't. Holly already knows your ring. In fact, she's licked it. Licked it? Wow. <laughs> Look, you don't get it. You've brought trouble into my house, okay? My, my wife thinks that marriage is suffocating me, and my son thinks that we're divorcing. He's a strange kid. Uh, here's the deal. I, I miss my ring. I just want my ring back. Uh, I, I, look, I was going to seal the deal with Holly last night, but the truth is I got sidetracked talking about my kids. 
like Luciano. He, he's eight years old and already he's reading my medical journals. And there's Dasher, he's so strong. All the kids in his class make fun of him because of his name. What was I thinking? Yeah, well, you know what? Since you made him up, you could probably change the name. I don't know the rules on that, but. Yeah, of course. It's just once you start thinking about them, it's like you get to know them. Except for Emma. She's a mystery, that one. What? Silly me, I forgot something in the car. Go ahead, guys. Uh, you know what? I'm silly too. Got something in the car that I may need. Well, you'll be relieved to hear you have no cavities since your last visit. Ten days ago. All right, I'll be honest with you. I'm not here by my teeth. I was wondering if there's something going on with my parents. Like what? Well, yesterday, they weren't wearing their wedding rings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your mother's not wearing her ring? Oh, man. That is just plain wrong. <laughs> hey, you have a picture of me. Oh, uh, yeah, you're like family, practically. Like family. Practically. One, two, three. Father, how come I'm a foot taller than you and we look nothing alike? I don't know. Why don't you ask your real dad? <laughs> real dad? Real dad? Suddenly, it all makes sense. Papito? I cannot stand idly by while you tear your family apart for some mistress. Howdy, partner. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, we're a carpool buddies. I'll bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not like that. We're... Aubrey, what's going on here? You want to know? Okay. I do have a mistress. You want to meet her? Her name's Serenity. There's nobody here. I know. Isn't it glorious? I don't understand. My boss told me to use my sick days or I'd lose them. So I started to think about my family vacation. And it made me cry. So you'd rather be here than with your family? Oh, yes. What do you even do here? Take my shoes off. I eat beer nuts. Hands them. I turn down the sound on the TV, and I make up funny stuff for the people to say. But mostly, Dougie, I get me time. Aubrey. There's no me when you get married. The M turns upside down, and it becomes we. Yeah, and then we go to a New Year's party, and bam! Kid number one. And then there's a power outage, and bam! Kid number two. And then, hey, this show's a rerun, and bam! Kid number three! Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, do you? I love my family more than anyone. But let me ask you this, Dougie. When was the last time you spent an hour alone in a room by yourself? Actually, that would be last Thursday at work. Client canceled. And what'd you do? Called my wife. Goodbye, Dougie. And while you and Cindy are sharing the same toothbrush or hiking in the same pair of pants, you can think of me making love to Serenity while her friend Tranquility rubs my back. Uh, I will cut you, you son of a... Here to my house, sounds like the ocean. Here's my card. Oh, thank you. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Anything at all. Okay. <laughs> oh. Who's that? Oh, Troy. He just dropped off some cement for my new flip. And he gave it to me for free. Free? Mm -hmm. How'd you manage that? I haven't the faintest idea. But you know, all the boys in town have been so friendly. Hey, boys. Hi, Hi Mila. Mila. Maybe it's the new perfume on my naked little hand. So he just sits in a motel room all by himself? Yep, and eats beer nuts. <laughs> Calls it me time. Apparently he thinks all couples need it. Oh my gosh, do we need it? I don't know. Should we try it? Okay, I, I guess. Okay, um, I'll be in the other room.
other room. <clears throat> Should we fight first? I don't think it's an angry thing. Right. This is crazy. I, I married you for a reason, uh, because I, I love us. I feel exactly the same way. <sighs> oh, gosh. <gasps> if only Aubrey could feel the way we feel. Maybe he can. I'll go grab my sweater. <laughs> we'll go get my sweater. Hey, Aubrey, we were talking and thought maybe you could use our help. We thought if we could teach you how to have quality we time, you wouldn't even need me time. Hope this isn't crossing a line. I'm kind of worried about you, buddy. No, not at all. In fact, why don't you guys come in for a second? Come on. Can we take a rain check on the whole wee conversation? My wife is out and I have to go pick up 10 pizzas for the kids. Do you mind watching them for a little bit? Thanks. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Hey, you guys. Dougie and Cindy, the new babysitters. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Hi. 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 I've made some decisions about the living arrangements after you two break up. Marmaduke, we're not. I don't know. Enough lies. I choose to live with mother, and perhaps some with father, if that's even your real name. You may commence fighting over me now. Go. Marmaduke, nothing is going on, except that someone in this house is too stubborn to admit he lost his ring. For the love of peace, I will go over to Laird's right now and get it. Why would your ring be at Laird's? Oh, thank God. I chase pennies. Am I too young for a heart attack? Aubrey, I apologize. I am an ignorant man. I understand now. You're a saint. Oh, shucks, guys. It's just my life. Anyway, I'm going to go back out and get the kids some ice cream. <gasps> Your St. Friend's place really is depressing. Well, I couldn't take you to my place, which is filled with joy and laughter. I know he's divorced, but you think he could afford a couch. Poor lonely loser. How can anyone live this way? Hey, he's doing the best he can. Now, on to more important things. Do you think your wife suspects? No, she trusts me. But we're betraying that trust, aren't we, baby? Yeah, I suppose that we are. And what do you think your kids would do if they found out? They would be very disappointed. Oh. I mean, I'm supposed to help my son Dasher with his algebra homework. Oh, imagine his face if he knew. Uh, yeah. Laird, Laird. Awkward, but hot, right? Uh, Leela is right behind me. She knows everything. Your wife is here. Get up. Help me. So is this the ring liquor? Yes. Guilty. I cannot believe you handed over the symbol of our love and commitment just so Laird could get lucky. You're not married? No, I am not married. I lied about lying and pretended we were cheating. Why are all the good men single? Hmm? But if I do get married, can I call you? So is this really your son, Dasher, or was that just a lie, too? Dasher? That's a stupid name. My name is Marmaduke. I knew this was too bad to be true. Now, it's truth time. This man is clearly my father. Okay, sweetie, you know, I don't know what you do in your room, but Laird is definitely not your father. I have proof. You see, 
Laird and I are both very athletic. Pose with me, Father. We both have great heads of hair. And we both... He's eight years older than you. Your proof is better. I retract my statement. Real father, sorry about that. I'm sorry. I got carried away. The more time I spent with Holly, the more my fake family became real. We were even planning a ski trip. Emma's never seen the snow. Oh, you're gonna have to break it to them. They don't exist. I'll do it. It's just making them up made me realize how much I'd like to have one of my own someday. This doesn't fit. Oh, because I had it sized. 